In this video, I'm going to show you how you can run the best gun bunch match defense in Madden 22. What's good, YouTube? My name is Cody, and I want to thank you for taking the time to watch this video. If this is your first time visiting my channel, be sure to click that subscribe button down below as we release new videos like this every single day that can help you get better at this game. Now, in this video, like I said, I'm going to be breaking down a match defense, and I'm going to be doing that out of the nickel 245 odd. This formation can be found in the Chicago Bears playbook. It can also be found in the Tampa Bay Buccaneers playbook. And in my opinion, this is the best defense in the game right now. I also just released a nickel 245 odd defensive guide it's a complete guide that walks you through step by step how you can run the best defensive scheme in Madden 22 and so if you want to learn the entire nickel 245 odd defense pretty much every pro player has uh, started to kind of shift to running this defense because it is that good the pressure from this defense is absolutely insane and the coverages that we can create which we're going to show you in a second we're going to show you how this can become a very effective base defense in my opinion so if you want to get my full 245 odd defensive ebook there's a link in the description below and it's on sale for just 15 dollars. it's a one-time purchase and we are going to be updating this defense throughout the season anything new that comes out anything that we're doing differently we'll be sharing the, with the guys that have gotten the guide in the update so let's talk about bunch and i really want to talk about this from the uh, subject of match defense against bunch and i want to show a couple of the issues with this and then we're going to show you kind of how you can uh basically solve the problems so we're going to problem solve a little bit today i'm actually really excited we're going to show you the base concept and the play we're going to be using is the cover six now those of you that don't know um the cover six is a match defense it plays cover four palms uh, to one side of the field uh, in this example to the left side to the side of the nickel corner and then it plays cover to sink to the back side or to the linebacker side or the blitzing side if you will so when we think about bunch we're going to play um, cover four palms to the bunch side and the back side we're going to play cover to sink now we're going to show you how we like to maybe shift that with some adjustments but um, that's the basic premise of the coverage so we're going to call cover six here come out in the play and you're going to see it's going to look just like this now my base um my, my my first foundational adjustment to this defense i recommend doing this uh, specifically out of the two four five odd is in your coaching settings you can go ahead and have your team base aligned i like to base align and the reason why is because it puts these linebackers in the gaps which allows us to get easy pressure allows us to do a lot of different things with them in our run and pass defense then what I personally prefer to do is I'll show blitz. And the reason why this is more of a run defense thing, but I will actually bring these guys into the run defense. And the reason why is because whenever you're defending a gun bunch set, the cover four side is going to do what is called the box check. It's going to, it's going to check into a specific style of defense that is designed to stop gun bunch. So what that means practically speaking is you've got this outside quarter zone he's going to take the first guy uh, to the outside vertical this guy's going to take the first guy to the outside flat this guy's going to take the first guy to the inside vertical and then this guy is going to take the guy to the middle of the field now that's a little bit of an oversimplification but in essence you're going to create a four-man box that you're going to defend three receivers with that leaves you with a couple different players here on the back side and so what i like to do on the back side is i actually like to essentially man man up i like to make play man lock on the back side so what i like to do is i'm literally just going to man up that solo receiver and i'm going to man up the running back now by manning the running back up this significantly helps my my blitz out of this formation and it also helps my coverage and then my user typically when i'm playing this defense is i'm just going to sit right here on winfield and i'm going to user him now um, the next thing I wanted to go over is a couple of rules or a couple of things to keep in mind when you're playing quarters from an offensive perspective. So, um, or I'm sorry, palms or box or whatever you want to call it. It's technically box because palms and quarters both check in the box in this situation. But anyways, we're going to go to verticals. One of the best quarters or uh, match beaters is simply this. We're just going to strict that circle receiver. So I want you to watch because we showed blitz. Notice that it put those outside cornerbacks outside and wide that's significant because it's going to significantly help our coverage in this example so we're just gonna snap the ball and you're gonna see here that it looks like brown is open so i'm gonna try to launch it and i'm not gonna be able to launch it in time because the pressure but not only that but let me just show you here and just 
just for sake of um, you know kind of the exercise of watching uh, everything that we're doing here I'm just going to go ahead and you can just put this guy in inside quarter as well if you want to once you do that and then if you wanted to you could use her on this guy because I do like to use her on this guy a lot and then I could drop this guy into a bluff blitz we'll get into all that in just a second for this example I'm gonna spy this guy uh, and spy this guy so we don't get too much pressure because I want to show you the coverage and how it actually breaks down so uh, verticals, streak circle, watch circle. You can see he's going to get a free release. He looks open, so I'm going to lob it up, but then that gives the cornerback time to recover, and as you can see, he takes that streak away. So that used to be, and, and let me show you another example where this is going to be a really good read for the offense. And all we're going to do is we're going to press coverage. Now, this is one of the most popular adjustments that people like to do out of any defense is because it helps disguise it. But in this example, if you play cover four, quarters or palms and you disguise it by pressing um, in this year's game it's just not a good move you're going to see here he's going to get that free release i can easily just lob that up and i can beat him for a one play score so this is where a lot of people that will teach you how to in, in terms of the way they'll teach you how to defend bunch they'll say well all you need to do to do uh to run match against bunch is you just need to you just need to put that inside uh safety on the bunch side on a deep half now i will tell you that that's a significant that's a decent adjustment it, it does help in certain situations defend this but it's not the only option that we have okay and I want to make that really clear so that's why I personally like to show blitz because as long as that cornerback on the right side is not pressed I've found that he doesn't give up a touchdown you'll see like right there he doesn't give up a touchdown there's no touchdown as you can see he just recovers real simple Okay, so that's my personal recommendation. And again, you're gonna be kind of sitting over here with your user anyway. So if you think about it, like I'm gonna be sitting over here, I've got this guy in this area right here. If I see something coming right up the seam, I might come over and poach on it a little bit. That's kind of, I think that's the technical term for this defense is we're gonna basically essentially put ourselves in a position where we can poach with our user. Essentially what that means is poaching to the trip side, essentially helping on the bunch side. So I'm coming over here, he might look away and then look back. By the time he looks back, not only is the pressure in there, but I've now helped on my crossing route, which is kind of my responsibility from my perspective so that is how you defend gun bunch as is now i want to show you another route combination um that you that is i think relatively effective against against gun bunch and that is um this route combination that i'm about to show you uh that is this right here so what we're going to do this is more of a hot route master combo but we're just going to run clear out we're going to put the circle receiver on a corner we're going to put the x receiver on a crosser and we're going to streak r1 and just want you to see this what you're going to see here is that we play fine this defense plays fine against that now last year's game um it seemed like everything broke um there were several different ways that you could break match coverage um from gun bunch there was i mean you could literally all you had to do last year was call flood and if you called flood oftentimes you got a you got a a complete a complete dot either to the out route or to the corner and, and this year's game it's similar i mean as you saw right there i, I hit a an easy read but it's not um it's not as it's not as easy uh let me show you here so this is clear out se out and as you see here um the r1 receiver can get open now the reason that that happened is is in my personal opinion because again we didn't we didn't go through all of our adjustments we didn't man up that backside put that inside quarter out there and then hot uh, or spotlight you know spotlight and all that so you see here this is clear out same exact concept this time it broke again which is unfortunate um but as you can see that's and that's why people say put a deep half now i would argue that putting a deep half there doesn't automatically solve that Okay, it doesn't automatically solve that. So, uh, and then let me show you the last way that people like to do uh, kind of mess with match coverage from this. So what we're gonna do, it's essentially this concept right here. And then we're just gonna motion Brown out. And what you're gonna see is, and you can put him on a slant or an out route. It's whatever you wanna do, right? I like the out route, but anyways, you'll see here that this guy will oftentimes get open. Now that time I actually played it decently. Um, if I were to take him and put him on like a slant pattern, and did something like that right there. Now watch, take a look at this. You'll see it should kind of confuse him a little bit more. I mean, he still gets open, but as you can see, it's an easy way to make, be able to still throw your corner is what I'm getting at, okay? So there's a couple of different things that we can do uh, from an adjustment perspective to basically improve our chances at defending. First and foremost, if you see clear out SE out um, like that, what I was showing you, 
there's a couple things you can do. So if you, that's the only bomb that I know of right now from Gun Bunch like this, and and it's really not a hundred percent consistent. Just spotlight that slot, and let me see if this works. I don't know if it will or not. There's another adjustment that we can do, uh, which I'll show in just a second. But I'm gonna go to clear out streak R1, uh, take the running. I'll put the running back on in route, make it even better, and then we'll just show you this. And you see he he bails on him again. So. So as you see, I mean, he gets me. So what you can do is you can obviously deep half. Um, the other thing that you can do, though, which I also like this, is just with your – because it doesn't cost you a player. So if you see clear out, your responsibility – because obviously they have to run three people on a vertical scene, right? So they're running three people vertical anyway. So just take the, take the guy. That's I mean, that's all you got to do. Something as simple as this. Uh, and I like to actually keep my user on a deep path because I think it makes that inside quarter zone play a little bit better. But And then let me just, for the sake of the video, spy that guy. So all you're going to do, you're just going to, oh, I'm looking, oh, they're running vertical, 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 right? I My natural tendency is to go with the tight end. And as you see there, it left R1 open. So what I've got to do is if I see R1, the slot, go vertical, I've got to go with him. That's an assignment type of uh, type of deal. To me, that's an easy solution um, to this. Now, another way that you can solve this is by doing what I is what I talked about that a lot of pro players like to do is they'll just put this guy to deep path. And honestly, that's not a bad adjustment. It really isn't um, because what you're going to be able to do now is now you're a hundred percent responsible for any crossing route that comes on your field. Any crossing route that comes on your field, you go get. As you see here. Um, I have noticed that occasionally they can still get this thing over the top of a deep half. It doesn't always happen, but it is an occasion that I wanted to at least draw your attention to. Now, the one that I wanted to spend a little bit more time on in this video is this motion out. So uh, a couple things here, and that is that. So again, as you see here, we're going to do this setup right here. Now, what you what you want to do is when you whenever you see a motion out, okay, you're either going to get verticals more than likely, or you're going to get uh, that corner route concept that I was showing you earlier. Okay. So to deal with the corner route deal, all we're going to do, so you see here, here's our setup. All we're going to do, if we see that motion out, okay. Cause remember we're playing, we're trying to kind of keep with the principle of quarters. So if we see that motion out, all we're going to do is we're going to press and put that outside guy in a deep half. Now, what I like to really suggest is if you press manually back up that solo receiver, if you have an opportunity to do that. And what you'll see now is we're going to play that corner route with that outside third. As you can see there, he plays it and he takes it away. Okay. And he'll even do a better job on those other corners that are really popular this year, uh, like the Z spot corner and stuff like that. Okay. So you can easily do this right here. And then, you know, while you, even while you're, even if that's just one of the things you do, what you'll see is, you know, when you get this guy, I don't know why he's not backing up. I don't know, he's being weird. So you see something like this, and then, you, there you go, there you go. Okay. So then, the other thing that you can do um, off of this is, let's say they're running a lot of flood on you. Okay? So let's say they're running a lot of flood on you. Well, what you, another easy adjustment that you can make is you could take your um, your defensive end here, and I'll give you one of two. The first one is you can put him on a hard flat. Okay. Now let me just show that. Obviously, you could use her flood. I'm not saying don't you know. I don't want to limit you to to doing that. But here, you see that quarter flat. He doesn't always drop back. So if he's not going to drop back to that, what you could easily do then is simply run your match. And we're gonna do we're gonna basically go through all of our adjustments and then we're gonna do one simple thing we're gonna shade our coverage up and then we're gonna drop the nut or that that linebacker on the right into a hard flat so you see here we create a mabel concept and then we have a curl flat over there so now what you're going to see is if they run the play flood, we're still going to keep our matching principles pretty much across the board. It's just that quarter flat is now going to be a curl flat. And as you can see, they put us in a pretty good position to be able to stop that route. Okay. Another easy way uh, to do this is to simply 
whoops, uh, to simply put him into a curl flat. So you could easily just put him into a curl flat. There's really nothing wrong with the curl flat as it pertains to match. I haven't found that it really significantly causes us any problem. So you can easily put him in that curl flat like that. And then the only thing you have to understand is more than likely you're not going to be able to stop uh, like a tight end flat if you, unless you put that hard flat. So you could do something like that. And now you're in a really good position to stop some of these floating concepts from bunch. You'll be able to stop the tight end flat. And then you see here, there's the out. And as you, and then you've also got the outside quarter for the, the deep corner. So that's where this can all become very effective in my opinion. And, you know, you don't have to, again, you know, you could easily, um, from an adjustments perspective, go ahead and put that deep guy in a deep half. You could even leave him up top like this um, if you wanted to, and then use her this guy. This is a really good way to stop bunch because now you've got a deep half that's going to stop pretty much the post, the, the verticals, everything, especially with where we have it. And then we could put that curl, curl flat zone, and then we can put that hard flat. And I mean, this is pretty decent bunch deep. This right here is pretty decent bunch D. Um, you know, if they run the double post stuff, then you're that's where you're going to come in here. You're going to stop the, the the posts and crossers and all that. But as you saw right there, I mean, they did a pretty good job. Deep half zones this year are really weird. Um, I will tell you that. Like hot routed deep halves. You see here, like he's in a deep half and he matches the post. Um, to me, that's a little, you know... You, that's what's interesting about these deep halves. I've talked a little bit about this on the channel, but if you put these deep, if they're inside like this from a for crossing routes, I'm not saying they're great. I'm not saying they're like the best way to stop a crossing route. So don't hear me say that. But what I am saying is they do a decent, they really don't do bad. Um, so let me show you verticals here. And I want you just to watch this guy. Watch, watch this guy right here. I'm going to put him like right in there. And then I'm gonna let go. I'm not gonna guard anybody with my user. Now he probably the crosser will get open, but watch what he'll do. He'll delay the gratification, right? He'll delay there. That time he actually completely let it go. But he'll he'll randomly kind of play it. And that's what's interesting about this deep It's confusing coverages. Um, it's gonna force him to have to do certain things adjustment wise. Obviously, you're gonna sit here and wait for a crosser. So you're not super, super down about that. Let me show you this, like just if we didn't do anything. Uh, I just want to show you like this crossing route specifically from uh, from uh, uh, Gun Bunch. So we're just gonna block the running back, max protect, and I just want to show you R one. So if you watch his route, see that deep half. See how he kind of plays it. I mean, he kind of plays it. So, um, anyways, that is you know how I would play quarters cup or a quarter, but match against bunch. You know, you could if you wanted to. Put the out the solo receiver guy on the outside quarter, the safety on an inside quarter, and then put this guy on a purple, like a curl flat. And this will pretty much play like match. If you're gonna do this, make sure to spotlight that R1 receiver um, so that you don't get bombed. But other than I mean, this is pretty good coverage as well. Um, even if you don't use or anybody, even if you don't use or anybody, this will play really, really effective. As you can see, um, he's gonna take that crosser and he'll match onto that and take that away. So that is that's why i like this coverage and honestly this is probably my favorite i don't know i go back and forth between this and the cover two they're both very good um i would it's i hesitate to say they're very good they're both the most effective that i've found for bunch okay they're i think they're the best two coverages that you can use in madden right now so i would tell you to try these out um this this cover six is uh, it, 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 it's also a really fun defense to run. So, you know, you can bring this guy down and put him in a deep half. Now, you've solved every bomb. There's not a bomb in the game that they can run. Um, I mean, there's there's like one or two that they might have a shot at that it's going to be clear as day to your user that you need to go guard it, okay? So now you've got this right here. So all you're looking for as a user is you're looking for a crossing route from the right to left, or you're looking for a post route over the top. So uh, typically the post route doesn't even beat, doesn't even really get that open to be honest. But that clear out bomb that I was showing you earlier, you'll see right here, number one, we're not gonna have a ton of time, but if they try to throw this, that guy's gonna have a really good opportunity to catch back up and make a play on the ball. So that is some match defense against Bunch. And to be honest with you, match defense is becoming, to me, the best coverage you can run in the game. And uh, I hope that they continue to make it 
more effective. They fix some of the bugs with it. They help the reaction time of the players so that they match quicker. Um, but right now, this is my go-to defense. So thanks for watching. If you want to get my entire 245-odd defensive guide, there's a link in the description below. You can get it. It's on sale for just $15, and that's a one-time purchase. And what will happen is we'll continue to update this guide throughout the year for you. Anything that we find that we need to tweak or do different or new, we'll put that in the guide for you. Thanks for watching, guys.